I don't know. I think that drugs and alcohol always held the promise of different than what I was. For example, um, if I am the color yellow one day, uh, drugs hold the promise of me not being yellow. The next day, if I'm the color red, drugs hold the promise potentially of me being yellow. It's a total illusion what drugs are gonna give you and what alcohol is gonna promise you. It was like being in a new world where the rules were completely different. The cast of characters changed. First of all, we stayed up for days and days. And by days, I mean like five days was not unusual. So we're sleep deprived. And when we stay up for that long, I mean that I'm just drinking and consuming drugs. Everything about me moved differently and my brain started working differently. My words came out differently. My posture was different. My eye contact was different. It was like I was morphing into, and it wasn't just a transitional different person. It was a different person. I don't even know how any of us survived, to be honest with you. Uh, for me, I didn't get sober from a treatment center. Like I, I tried, I did everything that was asked, but I was miserable and I developed an eating disorder at the last treatment center that I was at. I came back to Toronto and I met with the woman I had met with before. She said to me, I can't help you. Like you're getting worse. You know, you're gonna have to come back to me when you have some willingness. And I thought, I don't know what she's talking about. Like, what is she talking about? I'm willing, I went to treatment. How much more willing can you get? And then I went out and got drunk and got hit by a car. Then I realized I'm in like big trouble. You know, I'm going to die. There is just not even a question. There is no magic formula. It is desperation and it's willingness. There's a solution. And remember, this is my opinion based on my experience. Like I can't be uh, disingenuous and say that there are other ways. For me, there are no other ways. I tried all of them. And I think of the 12 steps as sort of the last house on the block. Like the 12 steps, they help you to a spiritual solution. I had the baby when I was, I guess, four years sober. And the gift of sobriety with my baby is that I get to be really actually here you know, not all the time perfectly, but here in a way that I think even some normal people don't have the ability to be, only because when you have the experience of the act of addiction and a brush with death and that kind of thing, um, I think that it gives you an appreciation for life.